Now in this example, we've got a plane that flies in a bearing of 0, 060 0 degrees to the, for 100 kilometers, and we want to know how much further east it's traveled. Now we could do this mathematically, perhaps using sine or cos, but a nice, straightforward, simple way to do it is with a scale drawing. Now I'm just gonna start at this point down here, because I think this will give me enough space to do my arrow. And I'm gonna say that uh, one centimeter is equal to 10 kilometers. So that means if I want to make something 100 kilometers long, it's got to be 10 centimeters long. But before I do that, I need to measure at my angle. And it's 0, 060, 0, so that's 60 degrees clockwise from this kind of vertical direction up here. So just getting my protractor, if I put the crosshairs on the dot, which is where my diagram is going to start, I'm just going to mark off 60 degrees, like so. And then I'm going to do a line which is 10 centimetres long. So this is the way that the plane has gone. So 100 kilometres at an angle of 60 degrees from the vertical. What I can then do is I want to know how much further east it's gone, and I can just measure this with my ruler. And when I do that with my ruler, it comes out at 8.7 centimetres. On this paper here, each square isn't exactly a centimetre. So this is uh, 8.7 centimetres. And I can then just convert that in back into kilometres. So I just multiply it by 10. And this means the plane has travelled 87 kilometres east since it started.